And good evening to you at 6 o'clock. I'm Liz Chow. And I'm Bill Ritter. We start with that breaking news. We first reported on Eyewitness News at 5, the death of the estranged wife of Robert Kennedy Jr. Her body found this afternoon at his home in Mount Kisco. This is the scene right now from Newscopter 7. That is Kennedy's house. How Mrs. Kennedy died, that tonight is the big question. Eyewitness News reporter Marcus Solis is at the scene with the very latest. Marcus. And, Elizabeth, at this hour, Bedford police only confirming that, quote, an unattended death took place at this location. They are still on the scene, and you can see there is a little bit of crime scene tape here after the body was discovered at 1.30 this afternoon. But this afternoon, the family of Mary Richardson Kennedy did release a statement confirming her death. Law enforcement sources tell Eyewitness News that Richardson died of an apparent suicide. Now, police have been here on the scene all afternoon at the home on South Bedford Road. Richardson and Kennedy, the son of the former Senator Robert Kennedy, were married in 1994. They filed for divorce in 2010. Since then, the 52-year-old has had a couple of legal issues. She was arrested in May 2010, charged with DWI. She later pleaded guilty to a lesser charge of driving while impaired. A few months after that, she was pulled over for driving under the influence of prescription medication, though that charge was ultimately dismissed. Kennedy and Richardson have four children together. This afternoon, Richardson's lawyer released this statement statement on behalf of her family. Quote, we deeply regret the death of our beloved sister Mary, whose radiant and creative spirit will be sorely missed by those who loved her. Our heart goes out to her children, who she loved without reservation. Again, police investigating the death of Mary Richardson Kennedy, a death by apparent suicide, Richardson, 52 years old. And we're live in Bedford, Marcus Solis, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.